Okay, what I want to show you quick now is how to create announcements and content that only your students can see. So first, if you go to the announcements widget and create new announcement, Uh, when you create your announcement, um, you can type information in here, add a picture, what other information you can attach, uh, any content that you want to that post. Um, you can attach additional documents if it's not a picture or something, you're an embed in the message. Um, and you can um, add files, like I said, if it's a PDF or anything that is going with it, you can do that. What I want to show you now is about additional release conditions. So this way you can post information that only your group um, can see. So in this case, uh, you're going to create and attach. The nice part is after you've already done it once, you can just do attach existing. And then any of the ones that you've done before, I've played around with a few, um, you can just check that box and click attach. But for the first time when you're doing the create and attach, um, you're gonna go under condition type. You're gonna go down to class list and the tab called section enrollment. So you're gonna select section enrollment. In this case, you're gonna pick which section you're attached to. I think I have you know view of all of them. You may only see the ones uh, that you're um, dealing with. Um, so you just pick whatever school you're with. Again, my school doesn't match what my message said, uh, but either way, you're just going to pick your section um, and and click create. And that'll make sure that there's a condition there that only students in that section can have access to this or it'll only show up in their feed under announcements. So once I click publish, then it would publish like any other announcement. But again, in this case, uh, only students attached to that specific school uh, will they'll view that. So uh, in my announcement feed, it shows all of them, um, but I have tested it with impersonating students and only the, the students in that section can view any of the announcements you make. So you don't have to worry about cluttering it or other students from other schools getting confused by your announcement. The other thing that I thought might be useful is creating content or documents or somewhere to, to put information or documents, like I said, that maybe only your students are going to be using. Um, so I've done a few test ones here, but I'll show you how to do it with a new unit. So I can cl click uh, new unit. You can name it whatever you'd like. Um, and that'll create a new unit that is that you can add information to. So you can add existing information, um, documents from OneDrive, uh, upload documents here. Um, you can create an HTML document if you just want to have some information here that you're going to maintain with a title, add some pictures, whatever information you're passing along to your students, you can add it to that folder. And again, um, what I want to do now is make sure that only students from my school will be able to see that. So I can click Create Release Conditions. And in this case, it's the same steps. So again, what I did with that folder selected, click on the dots, view release conditions, and then I'm going to go create. So when I get the same drop down menu as I did before, I'm going to go to class list, section enrollment, and then I'm going to find my school section, which again, you may only see that when your drop down menu, only the school that you're attached to as the teacher. So you're going to click create that. I'm going to save it. Uh, I still need to remember to make it visible. So if I leave it invisible, nobody can see it. Um, but if I want students in my section to be able to see it, I just turn on visibility and it'll be visible to students if that condition being attached to the Essex District High School section, um, then they can see it. So again, so that way um, you're not posting information that all students within our board can see. It's just going to be health and wellness students within your school uh, we'll be able to view those um, documents or pages that you're going to post. So again, you have the option to do it in the announcements feed, or like I said, if there's forms that are going to be needed throughout or any documentation you you are using specifically at your school, um, their, their um, forms can be placed in here and only your students can see it. 
Again, if you have any questions, um, feel free to reach out. Um, Justin.stpierre, St. Pierre is all one word at publicboard.ca, or message me on Edsby uh, and I can walk you through it or give you more support if you're having any difficulties. Thank you.